name is Darwin Fortuna. I am here with Kevin Farrar, a developer, real estate, realtor, investor, everything. He wears all the hats. So we're here, one of uh, the properties that we work together. And this is a very interesting relationship because developer, investor, architect, sort of GC merging relationship so that we can develop something beautiful, amazing. In fact, he's going to show you all the great things that came together in here throughout the whole process and the aggressive timeline, right? We're all working really hard. But Kevin, tell us a little bit about you and what you do. Hi right, guys, how we doing? I'm Kevin Farrar, as Darwin said. I'm excited to uh, introduce you guys this property at Five Roosevelt Ave in Beverly, Mass. This is a project that I've been working on, purchased it back in December. Uh, we weren't able to start right away. We had some tenants in here that we, uh, we had to work with, help them find new property. Um, and now, you know, we, get, we got working right in March and they've been going since then and we're finishing strong, just wrapping up the last bit of loose ends and hopefully have this property on the market in the next two weeks. But uh, myself, I've, you know, I've, I've flipped some property and now this one is kind of like my baby at the moment. Um, done a lot around the North Shore and hopefully gonna just continue to do more. All right, let's go take a look at what we did. All right, let's check it out. All right, so we have one unit on one side and another unit on the other yeah, side. Yeah, so right? this is gonna be, uh, this is the first floor right here. So this will probably be unit A, first floor right here. It's a single level living, two bed, one and a half bath right here. Uh, we're working on getting all the last minute stuff done right now and about to get the staging going. Yes. To the left, that is unit two. We can talk about that in a minute. All right, let's see. Oof, this is awesome. A lot of work in here, staging and everything. Oh yeah. So we have, oh, this is awesome right here. Yeah, too. so we wanted to have kind of like a, a designated area when you first walk in. So you can see, you know, you can put your, you know, you hang your coats, hang your hats, your bags, you know, and then you can put, you know, your shoes down here. You have a little bench where you can sit here and take your shoes off and kind of get comfortable in your space. Um, you have a nice sitting area right here. It could really be used however you like. This could be basically entertainment space right here. Living, eating, um, you got a half bathroom right over oh, here. Oh, that's golden right there. Cause everybody wants a half bath and this already, you know, you can entertain and people can use the half bath. It's conveniently located. We added this portion right here throughout the design. Um, it was like the ideal location to put it after we, we discovered it, but that's, that's perfect. You add in bath, that's money right there. Yeah, too. for sure. But let's talk about this island. I mean, look at that. Isn't that, isn't that a ma major peninsula? <laughs> yeah, the thing I really like about this kitchen, it's a little bit different than the layout upstairs. I really like all the bonus cabinet space that we put in here. We redirected the entrance and the, the exit, excuse me, we put it over here instead of going out that corner. So now we're able to add more cabinet space in here, which you know everyone loves. Um, and so you have cabinets on both sides of this island. We did the waterfall finish with the Concreto tops. Um, you know, we did the top knob, black knobs, which are my favorite. Um, you know, we went with the black uh, Moen kitchen faucet on there with the, the nice, I believe it's 32 inch uh, wide sink there. So, you know, we, we really, we really like the way this came out, especially, you, you know, you'll get a glimpse of it, but the backsplash and the Concreto tops together, I feel like it really ties. And I'll tell you right now, this didn't look like this at all. There was a wall right here. There was some sort of fireplace, something in the middle. It was not, not at all like this, right? So we really massaged this to make it make sense. And Kevin, one thing about Kevin though, that I love is that, it, you know, typically he's the architect and the owner. And you know, the owner says, I want this, 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 and that. And you try to design it as an architect. But here we did Zoom meetings after Zoom meetings and went back and forth into what makes more sense. Knowing that we're building it here together, right? Like we're making sure that this works out and that we have a really unique um, an amazing finished product. Like nothing was spared in here, right? It's like we really fully got it, uh, the, the whole building basically, right? To make something that that's meaningful and you know, location, 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 right? Really good location here in Beverly. So uh, we have our kitchen, um, we renovated the bathroom, right? So yeah, we actually also added on the other side of that half bathroom, we added a laundry space in here as well too. So, which is nice. I mean, so that way you don't have to go down to a basement or go somewhere else for your laundry. You have it right here um, on your, you know, on your level. So. And this unit, so has full bath, half bath, two bedrooms. And then two, yep, two good size bedrooms right there as well. Deck space at the back outside too. Huge deck, yep. And, and a kitchen that, I mean, this is the party right here. You could see the whole family on this island and have a really good party. For sure, yeah. You can get at least four to five seats in there comfortably. And like I said, the best part is you have cabinet space, so you have storage on both sides of that peninsula. Yeah, think, let's take a look here. We get amazing dropped in under, under mount sink, which is 
you know, all high end, uh, you know, all the details in here. I mean, nothing was spared. It was just really well touched. You don't see this kind of uh, waterfall island and that material actually. It's, it's just very unique and beautiful and he blends right in really nicely. So I was asking him if his wife was helping him with the, with the design, but hey, he, he's sharing the love. You know, oh yeah, 50, no, 50. for sure, yeah. She definitely plays a big part of it, um, you know, so we had some partners on it too. So, I mean, everyone, everyone did their part. They all, you know, they came together and helped us, you know, pick everything out nicely. And I feel like it all tied in together really well. Excellent, let's go see the other unit. One of my favorite things about the units, you have like the ship lap almost, so it's actually, it's actually called nickel gap and not shiplap, but it's it's a replica of shiplap, but um, this is actually called nickel gap and it came out really nicely. And these actually are shelves that I had from uh, my house that I actually live in with my family that we actually purchased when, back in December of 2020. These shelves were in the house. The guy that we bought it off of had these custom wood shelves built. And I just knew I used some of them at the property, but I knew that I could probably use them on another project. So I saved them and they, they work perfectly for the space. It's funny that you mentioned that project because we that was the very, well, the, one of the few projects that the first one that we worked on was your house. That's when I realized this guy was the real deal. So it's, it's not a developer that, that's just trying to make a quick buck. It's actually trying to do a really good job. So he treated his house exactly the same way that he treated this house. So everything was thought out, everything was well put together. And we're actually gonna do a little feature uh, film of that, of that renovation. I mean, we're talking about bang, bang, beautiful renovation, beautiful kitchen, beautiful spaces, everything right where it needed to be. Uh, right here, actually, uh, not too far from, from here. So let's go take a look at everything on the, on the second floor. And this unit has two floors, technically. Well, technically three floors, because this space is technically part of it, so first, Second, and then we refinish the attic space to add in another bedroom. Um, and uh, you'll see some more beautiful space up there. Nice bedroom, a sitting room, and a huge walk-in closet. Excellent, excellent. So another element that we worked with is utilizing this space right here. So on this side, there was a wall before. Yeah. So there was windows and things like that. That space on that sort of porch wasn't uh, actually used as inhabitable space. It is now insulated. We gain some bonus space, which we're gonna share later. And the entire space now is a beautiful open concept, right? Don't we love open concepts? All the way through from one side to the other. There's no, no clutter. The sidelines are clear and clean. And uh, well, let's talk about that. Peninsula too, look at that. And everything is so spacious, right? You have the space for the table. You have space to entertain. You have space in there. It doesn't feel you know, before it felt really small. I feel like this, I mean, for, you know, it, it, it feels like you grew twice oh, <laughs> this yeah. space. I mean, great, great job. Yeah, and, I know at my house, the, the island, the peninsula, whatever you want to call it, there's, that's where everything happens. The kids play there, you know, we, you know, prep food there. You know, when we have people over, that's where people tend to congregate. So for us, we know that that's, that's, a, that's a centerpiece of the, of the unit, you know? So we wanted to make it right, just like we would do it. Excellent, in our how many bedrooms do we have here? Uh, so this one is a three bed, so you have, two on this floor. If you go through here, this is a master suite. This will open right into a master suite. You can check out right in here. Um, and then we have another one back that way and another one upstairs, but you can come in and check this one out. So we still have all the paper down in this unit, just protecting the hardwood floors that we refinished. They came out beautifully. Um, so we're protecting those until every little thing is done. And once, uh, once we're ready, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll remove all the paper and then you'll get to see you know, uh, why we decided to restore these floors. And we added another bathroom here actually, guys. So we have this bathroom, beautiful, well done. It has this sort of like mixed century modern mix with the finish, right? So, which is timeless at the end of the day. And on this side, we have this amazing space right here um, that again, Increasing bathrooms, right? What are the things that matter most? Having bathrooms, having bedrooms, having kitchen, right? Like a great kitchen. So this is actually, so that other one has that sort of almost antique mix. This one is completely modern, mix, more contemporary, mixed century modern design from all the way from the tiles and everything. So um, all the credit to them actually flow design interiors didn't do the interior design. They did the interior design. We only did the architectural part. But yeah, you can come take a look in here. Yeah, you can peek at that one. This one's almost done. Just need to wrap up, like I said, the final touches. Plumber's just about to install toilets, faucets, all the, the finishing touches in here. But you can see all the tile work, the vanity, everything came out nicely. So 
we're right there at the finish line, guys. Yeah, and what do we have here? This hidden closet. So this is another uh, laundry closet. You so you go. got the laundry closet right here. Oversized and it's spacious. laundry closet. Yep. So you can, you know, you have plenty of space for your washer dryer, you know, all your detergents, all that stuff. So um, you know, we want to make sure that whoever's doing the laundry had plenty of room to work. So now, believe it or not, the space that took the most work is the one we're about to see. The one that was our jewel from the very beginning and that we had to make sure it worked. So you're gonna be, it's gonna blow your mind. So we added these stairs because it was only a pull down before. Yep. Right, and it was a finished space upstairs, um, but it wasn't utilized the proper way. Now we are utilizing the space and creating more square footage. This is literally a moment in which the house grew because now it's being utilized. So let's go upstairs. Beautiful uh, uh, railings in here with the little spindles in here. I now this space, yeah, someone is really going to appreciate this. Not only do we have like this sitting area, dressing room, whatever you want to use it for, another living room, but you know, this is just bonus space right up here for whoever decides to, to set up shop up here and make this a bedroom. All right, so you got a huge bedroom right on this side uh, with plenty of room for sitting space ahead. We, we can head in here and check this out. Look at that. I mean, this is a this is a king size bed here, so you can see there's plenty of space inside this bedroom. King size bed, you got room for a sitting area right over there. Nice oversized window. We had to have that window custom made as a, as a form of egress, um, but you know we, we didn't spare anything it's up here. Nothing. So a few things. This space fully insulated, spray foam insulation. It has the highest R value you could probably ask for. So that's one element that immediately makes the space functional inhabitable having the means of egress is required for any bedroom the same way with the uh, smoke detectors we have that means of egress there but at the same time it's well sized beyond what it needs to be so that we can gain a lot of natural light and meet the requirements for air and ventilation which is another code requirement so that this can be a proper bedroom um, and now we have all this bonus space but also we have this amazing closet um, we have a closet that just so you said somebody who's gonna appreciate i'm telling you um the wife or whoever ends up here is gonna really appreciate that space to put all the gadgets and all the you know the goodies uh, we maintain the skylighting here again to continue uh the natural light throughout the space um all well insulated new hvc systems all throughout so this space nothing was spared i mean i would love this for me <laughs> i'm already i can i rent it yeah can i keep it so this is just wonderful and take a look at that at that closet all the way nice here. walk-in closet right here i mean you got plenty of space in here and he's really tall so if he doesn't bang yeah, his head so i'm, so I'm six two in, in here and, I, and i'm comfortable i got plenty of space we got three different spots where you can hang your clothes we have multiple shelves and one of the things that I like the best being a, a sneaker person, a shoe person, um, you know, I have, we set it up so we have the slanted shelving in here for holding shoes specifically, um, which I think a lot of people are really gonna appreciate. Um, on top of that, we also added some hooks in here, um, just so that you can, you know, hang your hats, hang your belts, hang your scarves, hang your purses, whatever you're trying to hang in here. But, you know, this, this closet is fully functional for whatever type of person, boy, girl, and different, um, you know, this is, it's a nice setup in here. So take a excellent, look. Excellent, excellent. 